Would you tell Duke Connors that Frankie Albert would like to see him? Bernie's Frankie Albert? Right there. How come you're not with the Stanford team? Getting ready for the big game? Well, that's something I'd rather discuss with Mr. Connors in person. Oh, very well. Sit down and wait your turn. Okay. Thinking of signing up with the Bearcats? Mm-hmm. Morning papers don't say anything about you leaving Stanford. Oh, it's still a secret, but they'll find out soon enough. Sorry to hear it. Pro football's all right, when you can't get any more of the college brand. But those games with the alma mater, boy, there's nothing like them. Well, that's storybook stuff. That isn't the old Stanford I knew. Am I going to get that here, too? I've had it pile on up to my ears what the farm stands for. They try to hop you up with that old tradition hooey and try to awe you with such names as Biff Hoffman, Ernie Nevers, but when you get right down to it, it's just another school with just another football team. Isn't it possible that your viewpoint's a little warped? Listen, fella, I'm not asking you your business. Maybe I know mine. Okay. But there's a motto down at Stanford. The wind of freedom blows. That means that you, Mr. Albert, or any Stanfordite, is free to do what he wishes. But thank goodness most Stanford men haven't abused the privilege. Why, hello. Hiya, Duke. Why didn't you tell me Ernie Nevis was waiting? Come on right in. You're waiting a minute, Dick. OK, Duke. That's Ernie Nevis? Yeah, and still Stanford's greatest hero. 